And now to that funeral for a young child. This is the face and the reality of evil. This is evil right in our face. A powerful scene inside St. Sabina Parish to say goodbye to a boy killed in an alley, and it was no accident. Police say gangbangers targeted nine-year-old Tyshawn Lee. His funeral triggered concerns of retaliation at St. Sabina School. Dorothy Tucker takes us inside for this original report. How many of you were afraid to come to school this morning? Hands raised by half the class at St. Sabina Academy. The other half didn't show up because of fear the funeral at the church next door would end in violence. And why? While nine year old Tyshawn Lee, executed by gangs, was laid to rest, students who could see his waiting hearse outside their windows admit they were distracted. I'm just scared of just coming to school. I didn't want the same thing to happen to me, so I just wanted to stay home. But my mom said that. I need to come to school and get education. The majority of students didn't come to school today, 149 absent out of only 267. People randomly was like, they're going to shoot the school up or whatever and stuff like that. It was enough to prompt school administrators to send a letter and deliver a robocall acknowledging parents' concerns, making attendance optional. Please know that every possible precaution is being taken. An army of officers who surrounded the church also kept an eye on the school. Doors are always locked, but today no one was allowed outside. The PE classes would be held in the building that children would not go out to recess or be outdoors at all. While it wasn't an ideal situation, students felt the love. Teachers care about us and that if anything happened, they'll try to protect us. The school day at St. Sabina ended without any trouble. All students are expected to return to class tomorrow. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News. Erica? All right, Dorothy, thank you.